Okay, today I'll be showing you guys how to play Nintendo DS games on your Switch so you don't have to go out and buy a DS for what is it like a hundred bucks now because people like to jack people off over the whole COVID situation right now. So first thing we want to do is, is we want to launch an XMTP but I realize a lot of people don't have that so I'm going to show you how to download that really quick on your Switch. It helps with anything homebrew wise and if you already have it downloaded just fast forward in the video and then you can get started if you already have it installed okay so let's say that you guys do not have the nxmtp on your switch so first thing you're going to do is put your sd card in your switch you're going to go down here on the left side down to whatever your sd card is called mine's just called disk 2 and you're going to open up your switch folder right here okay now i have all the download links in the description of my video so you can click on those and what we're going to do is we're going to go to this page and this guy doesn't have a whole lot of self-confidence um, in himself but he makes awesome things like this in XMTP for the switch so just click on this to download it and then once you have it downloaded what we're going to do is actually drag it to the desktop of our computer and now that we have it on the desktop all we're honestly going to do is just drag it right here on the switch folder and then I already have it so I'm just going to copy and replace it and that's all you guys do and now you can launch an NXMTP on your switch okay so we ejected the SD card from our switch safely and now all we're gonna do is put our SD card back into our switch I'm just gonna slide it right there sorry I, just, I don't have the best room back here okay so we got our SD card in here now that we have the right joy-con off I have my little aluminum foil I think that I've made right there. I don't know if you guys can see the hook. Let's try and get that to focus. There we go. Okay, so I've got that. And now all I'm gonna do is slide this onto my switch or onto the controller so that I can ground these pins. And all we're doing is grounding the pins. It's like nine and 10, I believe. So once we have that right there, just make sure it's non-stick, or not non-stick, but make sure it doesn't have any type of chemicals on the, on the aluminum foil if you're doing it my way. And then I'm just gonna slide it in. And now for recovery mode, all we're gonna do is hold the plus button. We're just gonna tap the power button once. And if nothing happens, then we're good. So we're gonna plug in our USB cable to our switch. Okay, now that we're in recovery mode, we're gonna hop back on the computer really quick. Okay, so now we're back on the computer and I'm assuming that you guys have all this. I would hope that you do if you have ever hacked your Switch. Okay, so now we're gonna open up the Tegra right now and then we're going to inject Hakate right here. And then we'll get our Switch all started back up. Okay, so now that we're back on our Switch, we're gonna launch however you guys launch into whatever you do, but this is just how I launch into mine. Okay, so now that you guys have an XMTP installed or you already had it on, we're gonna do is launch into this game now you hold the right bumper right now when the game starts so we're going to go over to an xmtp and now we're going to do everything else on the computer okay so now that we have launched an xmtp or you have just downloaded it and launched it as i just showed at the beginning of the video we're going to download all of these i'm assuming everybody has a zip file extractor such as winrar but if you don't have the link in the description now what we're going to do is, once again, all these links and all of this information is in the description if you guys need any help with that. So let's get to downloading everything. So first thing we're gonna do is, obviously we don't have one more, download that, that'll be in the description. So the first thing that we are going to do is go to the first link that I sent you, and that will be for the Melon DS. So all you do is click on it right here, the Melon DS, they just let that download down here and then the other file over the will be the BIOS files and the firmware file now if this expires because a lot of them do because people have to make new ones every now and then because they'll get taken down all you do is just get on Google and type in 
Nintendo DS BIOS files, and you'll usually find it, and you'll get everything you need, and I'll show you exactly what you need. So I'll click on the Nintendo DS. We'll go right here for the DS BIOS files and firmware. And then it'll take you to this mega page, and then you just simply download it. So now that we have the Melon DS downloaded and the NDS firmware downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to open up both of these, okay? And then just X off of any extra windows that it pops up. Okay, so we're going to drag and drop the BIOS files right there, well, the folder. Then we're going to drag and drop the switch folder right here. And now we can X off of those. Now we're going to open back up our main folder for the switch. We're going to click on the SD card. And right here, we are on the main page of the SD card. And as we can see over here, we have to create a Melon DS folder on the root of the SD card with all four files. So you need four bin files, and one NRO file, and one wave sound file. So as you can see, this already has a Melon DS folder. And what we're going to do is drag and drop the Melon DS right here onto the root of the SD card, and then click Yes. Okay. Now, as we can see, what it says in the folder is NRO, bin, and wave. So we still need the other bin files, okay? So now I'll click on the NDS, BIOS, and firmware. So what I'm going to click on my keyboard is Control. I'm going to click on this, BIOS 7 and BIOS 9, and now I'm just going to drag and drop right here into the Melon DS folder, okay? Now I'm going to click back to my SD card. So now we're on the main screen of the SD card again. And now I'm going to create a Melon DS folder in the Switch folder. Okay, so we're going to click on Switch. And right now I'm going to create a new folder and name it Melon DS. Okay, and then what we're going to do is open back up this Switch folder. And we're going to click on Melon DS.nro. We're just going to drag and drop this into our Melon DS folder. Okay. So now that we got that step done, we're going to create a ROMs folder on the switch folder. So we're still in the switch folder, okay? So we're going to create a new folder, and we're just going to name it ROMs. And then once we have the ROMs folder, we're just going to drag and drop whatever ROMs we have on it. So I've got Pearl and Platinum, and I actually have a save file, that's what that is right there. So kind of just ignore that, you'll probably just have two NDS folders, unless you already have a save file. Okay, awesome. And now that we have all these ROMs right now, we are officially done on the computer. We're gonna get on the Switch. So I'll switch my screens really quick for you guys. So now that we're still on the NXMTP, I'm just gonna press the home button, close out of this. I'm gonna launch my game now. Now I still hold, start holding R. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is get over here on Melon DS now that we have, launch that. We're just going to get these little doohickeys out of the way. Okay, now, first thing that we are going to do is change our overclock to 1785. Next thing we're going to do is select our ROMs. So remember, we had our ROMs in the switch folder. So we're going to scroll down, click on switch, and then scroll down, click on ROMs. And then whatever game that you had. And I had Pearl and Platinum, so I'm going to click on Pearl. Okay, now I like to take off boot game directly, just so you get the genuine Nintendo screen when you start your game. Took off boot games directly so that we can get the genuine DS screen. We're going to go over here and click on load. Now to get rid of all of this stuff, what we're going to do is just click the ZL button. It's the bottom left button, bottom left bumper, I guess you could say. And then to get it, just press the button again. And then this is pretty cool with the screen sizing and all this. You can actually rotate the screen so that it takes up half of the switch like that. That's pretty neat. However, the buttons are a little janked up. If someone knows how to fix that, could you please leave that in the comments? I just play it regular. Um, I honestly can't figure out the screen rotation. So I just leave it on normal right here. And then remember it's the bottom left bumper. So you just click that to get off of it. And now we're on a regular switch right now. 
Now we'll just launch our game how we normally would. And now I've realized for Pokemon Pearl, at least this, you honestly can't even hear anything right now. I mean, you can hear a little bit. You guys can hear that, it's very faint. However, once we get past the title screen, it sounds like regular DS. You can faintly hear that. And then right now, it'll be fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold this up just so you guys can see a little better. Yeah, as you can see, the gameplay is absolutely perfect on here. Just great because you can finally play DS games on the Switch. <laughs> You guys can see the gameplay is absolutely perfect on here. Touch screen and everything responds perfect too, so. And yeah, everything just responds absolutely perfectly on here. And in all honesty, I just got this to play Pokemon, but. There you guys go. One thing I don't like about Pokemon is when it saves, I'll just let you guys see it. That's when we can get a bit of a lag and everything. However, it still saves and everything works. And if that's the only problem so far, then I'm not complaining. Okay, and yeah, that's how you guys get the Melon DS on your Switch. Thank you.